Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a sort of technique or just way of thinking that I have found very helpful to feel more fulfilled with my desires, to feel more so like they are mine. It also helps me to stop stressing too if ever I'm worried about them or anything like this. So I'm going to explain it to you guys and we'll kind of go from there. I've already tried to record this video before and I just really want to make sure this comes out right the way I want to talk about it because it is so helpful once you kind of understand what I'm saying here. So just follow along and we'll see where this goes. <laughs> okay, so what I'm talking about is when you are saying your affirmations, what I want you to think is that you are speaking from the perspective of your future self. So when you say your affirmation, you are channeling your future self, like a future version of you. So when you say something like, I'm a millionaire, right? Like you say something like, I'm a millionaire. You may not feel that right now. You may not feel like you're a millionaire right now. You don't see it right now. It doesn't make any sense. But if you think about it, like your future self is trying to speak through you to tell you like we already have this thing then it kind of comes from a different perspective you start looking at it differently so think of your desires like a future version of you is trying to tell you i already have this thing and you are saying it as an affirmation because it's them speaking through you so the reason you even have the desire at all is because there is a future version of you that has that thing like you would not have the desire for something if there wasn't a version of you out there that has it and I know I say future version of you and I talk about how time does not exist but in terms of human reality time does exist here it is a concept here and also for the sake of this video and for understanding it just makes more sense for our minds to talk about it this way but you can also think about it like your higher self speaking through you so some people also say like god speaking through you so the desires that you have are ones that your higher self or god has for you the only reason you have the desire is because it's something that the universe wants to experience through you like your desires they arise in you and you think that you have come up with them right but really it's your higher self that has already come up with your desires so when they come up in you realize it's because there's a version of you that already has that thing or it's because the universe wants to experience this thing through you and that means that there is a version of you that has this thing. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> I feel like this is a difficult sort of concept to explain but just know when you're saying your affirmation or when you have a desire for something, it's because there is another version of you that already exists that has that thing and it's normal to them so like right now you might have something that maybe in the past you wanted and right now you could say i have that thing like maybe you have a car that you wanted or you have a laptop you wanted at one point and at this point you can say i have that thing like if you think about it you know you have it right but you don't really spend time thinking about it that's like this future version of you you're affirming for something that's already normal to this future version of you so when you have the desire, it's because there is a version of you that already has this thing. Just like you had the desire for your laptop or your car or something. All desires arise because there is a version of you already that has that thing. Every other thing you've ever wanted in your life that you've gotten started as a desire in just the same way. And now you have that thing. I hope that you're kind of understanding where I'm coming from with this concept, but what makes me feel the most, I guess, like secure in this is knowing that your desires are kind of, I don't want to say predetermined or anything because I know that sometimes stresses people out because in regards of human capacity in terms of what we can think of, we do have free will, we can choose whatever we want, but there's already this higher version of us that sort of has a game plan for what they want to experience through this character, through this human body while it's here. It already sort of has an idea of what it wants to experience and like, so the desires that arise in you, they are your desires. They come from you, right? Like it feels natural, they're the things you do want, but just know that there's a reason that you have specific desires. 
That's the cool part about it. So you don't have to think, well, I want this thing and it's probably impossible for me. No, like that desire, start realizing that your desires are so special because they're yours. Like they are, I said to someone in the comments, they're like your yellow brick road guiding you where to go in life. Your desires are yours for a reason. Like you have them for a reason because there are future versions of you that have those things already. It's like stepping stones. Every desire is like another stepping stone on this little pathway. So if you start to realize when you're saying affirmations, it really is just you having a future version of yourself come through and speak, telling you, I already have this thing. Like it just feels so much more powerful if you can think of it that way, because that's what it is. That is what it is, that there is a version of you that has this thing. And so when you are affirming for it, it's because you really do already have it. And the more that you're, you know, on that timeline going towards that thing, like you affirm for it or whatever, you're going to eventually overlap with that future version of you. And that's going to be the new version of you. Like you will have that thing. But you having the desire is because you already have it. Even though you don't see it right now or you don't feel it right now, think of it like there's a future version of you that has this thing. You would not have the desire if they didn't already have it. And I say this too out of personal experience. I wish I could explain in more detail in this video, <laughs> more of my backstory. I will eventually, maybe in another video, but I used to do a lot of uh, tarot readings. I used to do channel messages for people. I know this might sound out there to some of you, but trust me, if you're interested in law of assumption and how we're all connected, then this really applies to that. <laughs> um, Tarot itself is really just another tool, just, it really is, it's an object, it's outside of you, it's just reflecting back again your own subconscious thoughts, just like everything else in your world, so tarot was how I started to see that the world was a mirror of me, and it didn't end with tarot, it became everything, so now I see the world as, like, I see patterns everywhere, I see synchronicities everywhere, I will talk about this in another video, but like, I don't see the world at all the same way anymore. I see it completely as like a mirror, as a series of patterns. But anyways, with that being said, when I was doing tarot, I used to get these channel messages. They came out of nowhere. It's a long story, but I would hear like random words and places and they all started to like kind of form a storyline. It was very strange. I don't want to get too much into this because again, I have people that I don't want to create skeptics on my channel and have people thinking that I'm crazy or something, but I, it did start predicting future events and things got really weird in my life and it was just, that's when I got really into looking into quantum, quantum physics and you know, all these different theories about the world because I was like, oh my god, I'm starting to feel like, it was almost like my world came crashing down, like nothing really seemed real anymore. So. That's as best as I can explain it in fewer words, I guess. But again, I will go more into detail in this another video if everyone, anyone is interested in this because it's been a very wild journey. But anyways, uh, we're going a bit off topic here. What was I speaking about? So yeah, so I was talking about channel messages and how I started predicting some things. That's what's the most wild about this is that I would write down these words or sentences or phrases and they didn't really make sense at the time. Like they were very random. They would just come up and I would, it was crazy though. I would get names of places that I'd never even heard of before or locations, things happening. It was so crazy. And that's how I started to learn about the whole connectedness of everything basically. But what I did was I was writing all these words down. And then I remember like it started, I started to just notice like years later sorry, like a year after I wrote things, I would look back on it and that day I would just look at like a random page of notes and they would correlate with events that happened that day in my life. Even though I just picked a random page and looked at it on what I thought was a random day. And so this is how I started to learn that everything happens exactly when it's supposed to and everything is happening now because even though I wrote those things and I didn't understand them at the time, now it made sense in my life. So for example, I wrote something about a specific location, wrote something about a plane, and then something about my uncle, whatever, I don't know, it was very random. 
And then now all of a sudden I'm going on a trip to this very specific place and my uncle is driving me to the airport. So just very weird coincidence how it all came together and it now makes sense, like the words all make sense together. And I didn't plan this trip, you know, based off the location, nothing like that, like everything just happened. Like it was just so random that I, and then I went back and read those notes on this specific day and whatever. Anyways, it's the best way I can explain is like everything you see around you is perfectly timed. It's perfectly manifested for you. Every video you see, every sign, like I'm not talking about just universal signs, I'm talking about like road signs, um, quotes you see, things you see on TV, movies, everything is a manifestation of you. And it's correlating with what you're currently thinking or um, projecting out into the world. And it becomes more and more synchronistic with you the more that you notice it as well, if that makes sense. So. Anyways, this video is kind of going off topic, but I just <laughs> I just thought I would mention this as well because there's so much behind this video. When I talk about a future version of you having these things, it's because I have experienced this so many times where I've affirmed something or I've said some words, like I've written them down and they've had no meaning. And then like months later, I look at those words again and now it relates to my life. So every time you say an affirmation and you don't feel like it's real, you don't feel like it's you, it doesn't really make sense, it's because you don't have the perspective yet to understand it. But eventually you will. Eventually, the affirmation and your perspective, it will all line up and that's when you manifest something, right? I guess with this video, I also am just making it because I find, at least to me, it brings comfort kind of knowing that there's a future version of me that's speaking through me that's saying, you know, don't worry, like you have this thing already. Realize that because you can say an affirmation and you don't have to stress out about whether you're gonna get it or not because you already know that there is a future version of you that does have it. Because that's the only reason you have the desire is because there is a version of you that has it. It's like a future version of you coming into your life right now and being like, hey, uh, so like no matter what you do, everything you do is gonna lead you to this. Like we're gonna end up here. So even when you're crying today and like this happens in your life and this goes down, whatever, uh, we're still gonna end up there. They're gonna tell you that. And it doesn't matter what action you take because whatever action you take is gonna get you to that future version of you because they are you. I don't know if this video is making any sense, but <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you guys find it helpful, um, at least looking at it from this perspective. Let me know if this makes sense to you or if you ever think of it this way just leave a comment um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna end it here uh as always comment like and subscribe and if you are looking for coaching i do offer that it's in the description box below and yeah that's pretty much it thank you all right bye guys <laughs>